You ready? All right, I have another Kingdom Life hack for you today. And that is to walk and talk to Papa. So I just climbed a hill, so I'm a little out of breath, but you're gonna hear me walking because I'm gonna walk and talk to you like I walk and talk to Papa. I love this hack because it really allows me freedom um, to express everything in my heart. For some reason, kneeling by my bed, which I was taught when I was little, just has a formality about it that doesn't allow me to express what's in my heart, but walking does. So I love going on walks with friends. Uh, for some reason, it allows a really good conversation to happen. Now, people around you are gonna think you're super weird, and so you wanna find, they're gonna think you're loony, so you wanna find a place to walk where, and a time, a time of day to walk where there's not people around. So right now I'm out on an old country road by grandpa's house and all there is are cows. <laughs> so it feels very safe to speak loud, to talk to my creator. And so I just want to mention that Yeshua went on walks a lot. He walked everywhere and I have a feeling that this is one of the reasons why, because when you are on a walk with someone, you have them captured for a little bit. Yeah, the car can do it, I think. You can have somebody captive in the car, but some sort of physical thing happens in you when you're walking and talking. And so I really think that Yeshua was strategic in this in that he would find people to walk with him and, and talk while he was walking. He had people captive, a captive audience for a little bit. And I think this is a great kingdom hack because it is going to help to solidify how you feel in your heart because you're going to hear it out loud. You know that we have to speak out loud for some things, like the demons need to actually hear us command them away in Yeshua's name, but I think we ourselves need to hear ourselves um, talk out loud to Papa because if you hear it, instead of just think it, if you hear yourself say it, sometimes you'll be like, whoa, okay, where'd that come from? <laughs> Either it was a good thing or it was a bad thing. And, and you'll start to flesh out things in your own heart. And then let's not forget that words bring life or death. Uh, so our words are super powerful. Just like Yahweh brought forth everything with words, our words bring life or death. And so that is super important to remember that speaking out loud is very, very powerful. I miss not having, you know, wide open spaces like this. Look at this. See, I could just walk for a long time and I feel comfortable, I feel safe. That's, that's a key factor for me, like I've said before, is whenever you're doing something like this, make sure you're safe, feel safe. Um, but uh, one of the safety things is, be, is feeling safe to speak out loud. So I'm gonna watch the sunrise. Oh, it's right in my face. Ah, there it is. Very cool. Open up your heart and allow your heart to speak, actually say words, and you're gonna hear yourself say words, be able to process your thoughts, but I really think the activity, the motion, uh, is super important with figuring things out. I'm gonna turn around here. <laughs> I'm sure that there's some scientific proof uh, that tells us how uh, exercise is linked to mental health, and how when you're exercising, even just a walk, um, can help you figure out things in your head and have a better mindset uh, for the day. I suggest you find a place to go walk and talk with Papa and pour your heart out and do the heartfelt prayer. Heartfelt prayer is different than a prayer of action, a prayer of, you know, like direct um, commanding a way of Hasatan as we're told to do is resisting Hasatan and stuff. But this is part of resisting Hasatan because you're going to walk with the family. You're going to walk with Papa and you're going to oh, just breathe and you're going to like take in what's around you while you're talking and let your heart speak. And sometimes this can take a while. <laughs> like my when I go on walks and talks with Papa is not a quick thing. So definitely uh, put aside some time to do this, but do it like at least once a week. I think that you'll find that it will cleanse out your heart and be good for you. I think that's a crucial issue too, is a certain time of day. Uh, morning is fresh and new and you're going to hear things that in your heart that you don't hear in the middle of the day. This is the time to really uh, lay things at Papa's feet. So don't you feel like sometimes you just want a place to go to rant, <laughs> you know? Wouldn't it be nice to have a place where you could stop and you could sob and you could cry and you could wail? <laughs> the walk, that's a great place and time to do that. 
let that heart go and let those tears come. This is a time to uh, get super mad at whatever injustice is going on in your life. This is a time to be super thankful and so heartfelt love towards him. This is a fabulous thing to do is to walk and let your heart pour out, whether it's for, for grief, sorrow, or joy, or frustration, or whatever it is that you need to get out of your heart. This is where to do it. Go on a walk with Papa and then leave it with him. You know, let him have it. This is the place to give it to him. This is the place and the time to let go on your walk with Papa. It's the perfect place. There you go. My kingdom life hack for today. Go on a walk with Papa. <laughs> it's morning. My hair's not fixed. <laughs> So go find a place to walk and talk with your family in heaven. Shalom.